folks, here we are again with the last perfect suitor, which is rated for 30 amps, right there. And I've come across something pretty interesting, which is, well, it's covered by the, by the sticker here, but let's just take a different version. This is the 50 amps, and what I've noticed is that this, I believe, is actually PWM symbol. And it's not stated anywhere in the manual as far as I know uh, from a quick glance through, but we'll check on that later. So, likewise, like its bigger siblings, I don't think that this smallest sibling is going to be an actual MPPT as advertised. So, quite interestingly, this the terminals on this are actually the best looking so far. It's all, it seems to be in place instead of being slightly messed up. Um, the wires that will fit in this will probably go for 10 gauge. That could probably fit in. And it's the usual stuff which is the same with all of its bigger siblings, two USBs, DC outputs, and a temperature sensor above. But this looks a little questionable, so we're gonna have a look and see whether there actually is a temperature sensor. And the heat sink is, well, since it's a smaller amps version, it's definitely smaller as well. Okay, so now let's start it with unscrewing the screws at the back. And then we'll try and look out for those rather elusive coil transformers or coil inductors so far, which have which aren't present in the bigger sibling series. 70 amps at the 50 amps. Okay, and once again, you want to be careful when you're opening this because the cables inside might be a little short and you don't want to break anything. Okay, great. So this entire back panel comes off. And as usual, we have our MOSFETs with the thermal pads on it. Okay, and now let's delve deeper to see if somehow this smallest sibling in the series actually comes or actually sports one of these coil inductors or transformers. mindful of the cable and here we go the terminals here some small capacitors some other smaller chips on it and as you can see there are none of that coil inductors which are supposed to be present on an MPP teach solar charge controller let's have a look under this to see if it's here and right off the bat I see the temperature sensor already so it does have the temperature sensor listed or installed under it okay yep we're looking at the screen temperature sensor SMD buttons, some capacitors. This one looks a little questionable because there's some kind of marking on it or it might blow. Alright folks, and as you have already seen, there are no coil inductors or transformers anywhere on any of this series 
so rest assured it is PWM and all of these are mostly being sold by scummy sellers trying to pass it off as MPPT so if you want an MPPT I suggest you stay away from any of these perfect suitors because they all are PWM solar charge controllers regardless of how big the rated amps are and in that case I would say look elsewhere if you're looking for an MPPT and these don't go cheap for PWMs either so I hope you enjoyed and well use your money elsewhere to make a better purchase perhaps Goodbye for now and thank you for watching.